Hey guys, Brendan here. Just wanted to uh, give you a quick overview of my jailbroken Apple TV 2. Um, thing is ballin'. Um, the Apple TV 2 in its own right is, I guess, cool if you want to, um, you know, buy content and stuff like that. Um, but if, you know, you're in my case, you have your own content and you want to be able to watch that and not have to have a computer hooked up to your TV. So, um, there's a untethered jailbreak for the latest version of iOS, uh, it's like 5.01 or something like that. Um, that little FC right there means it's jailbroken. Um, there is Plex and XBMC. There's some other apps that I haven't really fooled with. Um, besides Plex and XBMC, the rest of these are all stock. So we'll start with Plex. Um, Plex is based off F XBMC, but, um, requires you to have a, uh, server with the software installed. Um, you can't like share files from a NAS or something like that and expect it to work. Um, so all the transcoding and everything is done all on the um, actual server on uh, you know the computer in my basement here. So you fire up um, you know movies, TV shows, all that kind of stuff. It goes and aggregates all the content. One of the I don't know why it's such a cool feature, but when you go and actually hop into um, one of the um, what am I trying to say here? One of the shows, it starts playing the theme song from that show. which I think is really cool. Um, it has obviously all the episodes ready to rock here. If you let it hover on it, it'll show you the uh, plot for that particular episode and all that kind of stuff. Um, just the, the media aggregation of it is, is super, super cool. Um, XBMC does the same thing, don't get me wrong. Plex just has a... It's better at kind of pulling it all together and um, it, just, it seems like it runs faster than XBMC. XBMC, the edge that it has is plugins. Um, it has like <laughs> a lot of plugins. Um, it does, you know, the same thing that Plex does where it'll automatically scan, you know, a, a network share or something like that for content. Um, you can, you know, store it all on a NAS instead of having to have a, a server serve it out to you. Um, it plays anything. <laughs> uh, that's a video pretty much. Um, even if, if you have something that's um, in... Uh, you know, in a bunch of RAR files that's sequentially raw it'll actually go in and un -RAR it on the fly and let you watch it, which is pretty slick. As you can see right now, it's going and updating a season of a TV show that I just added. So we're going to let it finish doing that. The only caveat to running XBMC on an Apple TV 2 is it, it runs a little bit slower in the user interface, which is why I have this kind of Apple TV theme, because uh, it doesn't run as bad. Um, but it, I mean, if you're running this on a media PC, obviously it's a lot more fluid of a user experience, but this thing plays, you know, 720p anything, and this is a 720p TV. Um, and then, you know, it's that little box doing all of it. So I can't really complain, but so much. Um, and especially when you consider I paid like 70 bucks for it, that's, uh, that's not bad at all. So we'll go into the movies here. It's going to be a little bit laggy because it's still trying to scan for content, but you can see it's got, you know, movies here where it's already pulled down the, uh, you know, the movie poster and all that kind of stuff for you to watch it and, you know, kind of like Plex does. Um, what I really like, though, is this whole add-on section. Now, I'm not going to get into the legality of any of this stuff or where I got it from or anything like that. Just know that it's awesome and it works. Um, this plugin right here will go and pull all the plug -in, um, all the videos from the Engadget website. So if you want to watch, a, you know, the video review of their, you know, Asus pad phone, it's right there you hit the button and it'll start playing um, instantly and in gadget stuff is all in high def so this is in 720p so super cool there um, check out some other ones um, they actually have Al Jazeera English Live it's one of the plugins available from the default XBMC repository um, repository sounds a lot like suppository I feel like somebody should fix that anyway um, that's live streaming Al Jazeera English which is really cool um especially if you're somebody like me who cut the cord on cable and you know you want to watch news that isn't fox or something like that um it's live and ready to go and this is actually one of the you know one of the legal plugins so to speak um another one of the cool ones is uh ice films and um, that goes to the ice films website and basically allows you to view any of the content there um I, I haven't used this in a really long time and I fired up just a while, a little while ago and I'm very surprised at how fast it is. Um, you used to have to like wait 30 seconds to start watching a video or something like that. And it is crazy. So you go to latest releases and it goes and pulls the site and pulls down any of the, uh, 
you know, the recent things that have aired. Um, I mean, these are all things that have aired and just been uploaded. So we'll go Daily Show with Jon Stewart. And um, it'll show you, you know, if there's, you know, a DVD rip of it or which will be, I guess, 480p or an HD rip, which will be 720p. Um, for the sake of speed, I always kind of go with the uh, uh, 480p rips. So you click the button, it goes and pulls whatever video upload site that went to. And pretty dang quick, without, you know, having to download anything, you're watching the latest episode of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Which is pretty freaking bonkers. So... I don't know. It's a cool little device. I, you know, I get um, over the air HD TV, and that's really about it. So that's just the basic channels, and I don't even watch all. You know, I don't, I don't watch those that much. Um, pretty much use the Apple TV too as most of my uh, for most of my media viewing. This uh, has all the videos from Reddit, which is awesome. Um, so you can go to the What's Hot section in Reddit, um, and it'll pull you know page by page the you know, videos that are on there or whatever. Like, if you want to see uh, Tay Zonde singing um, that stupid Call Me Maybe song and making it sound reasonably okay, um, this will do that. Look at him go. He gets a little angry streaming 720p YouTube for some reason or another. But anyway, works reasonably well, and uh, it's awesome. So, now this is the second gen Apple TV 2. It is not the third gen. There's no jailbreak for it yet, and no XBMC for it if there was. So, um, Apple TV 2. You can also do this with the first generation Apple TV, although if you want to do HD content, you have to get a special decoder card. So, this uh, this is my bet. So, um, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, drop it in the comments, and I will do my best to answer um, but this is definitely a, definitely a solid investment if you're a, a cable cutter like myself or have your, you know, your own video library that you want to be able to watch with, uh, without having, you know, $500 media PC that's, uh, sitting down here, you know, pulling all your electricity. Anyway, that's it. Okay, bye.